Slappy's Tire Company. This is Gina. Can I help you? I, you're looking for tires? Well, what a shock. I can't believe it. Why else would you be calling? Can I help you with something? <clears throat> okay. Well, we don't have snow tires. Chains. No, we don't. We don't sell chains here. No, we don't have any snow tires. Right. Hang on. Stop. Slow down. I don't know where you're from, but you're not from here. So slow down. What brand is it? Hey, hang on a minute. Just have a seat. Have a, I'm not talking to you. I, I, I don't care if you're already sitting down. I'm not talking to you. Have a, stop talking. Not you. Just Can you just please shut up for a second? Have a seat. Do you have an appointment? Of course you don't. Okay. Did you say Dun Dunlop? Hold on a minute. Let me look. We might be able to order something for you. What is it? G7. Okay, what size? I'm, I'm looking if you'll just give me a minute. Look, I have somebody that's come all the way down here without an appointment, but still they came all the way down here, so the least you can do is just hold your horses for a second. <clears throat> no, um, well, now that would be considered a special order, and we add a 15% uh, surcharge to that if you're if you're still interested in it. I, no, we do we do not do special discounts for people, friends or family. Honey, we charge them more. Okay, it doesn't matter how good of a customer you are. Okay, this is Slappy's Tire Company. We don't really do special favors for people. Okay, well, of course we care about customer service, blah blah blah, but we don't do that. Let me tell you right now, what you're looking for in that size. Is going to be with your 15% that is going to be 204 each yes I'm serious well go on over to discount tire that's fine if you want to get screwed just go ahead okay bye <clears throat> Do you, uh, do you know what you want? Has someone checked it out? Now, car, you just, okay. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to get Carl to go out there and take a look at what you have now. Now, what are you driving? Okay. What is your name? Have you, have you been here before? I should ask you that. Have you been here before? No. Have you visited any of our other lovely Slappies locations? Well, we have one in Dog Patch and one in Nathanville, so you feel feel free to check us out sometime because um you know we we love to take care of things. That's that's our job. So Carl's gonna go out there and take a look and see see just how bad it is. I'm I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm not saying of course your tires need to be replaced. I'm not saying they don't. We just want to see how bad it is. Now I'm gonna tell you something, but you can't don't tell anybody this, okay? We have a Michelin's on sale through Saturday. And if you No, not one of the little spare tires. No, like a literal donut. We got a box of Krispy Kremes back there. We'll let you have one. Does that sound like a good deal to you? You don't like Michelin tires. What kind of animal are you? I'm just trying to help. I mean, you don't have to buy them. It doesn't matter to me. Just say it. Carl. It's Gina. I need you to go out and check this customer's vehicle. What are you, what was it again? 
there is a white Civic. Can you go out there and look at the tires on it and let me know what the damage is? All right, that, that. Well, you look pretty today, too. Just bye. Now, here, we have some brochures. This might help. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with Dean Tires. These are proven performers. These are fantastic. We have the Dean Equus, Equus, Equus LSI. Now, this tire has high angle shoulder slots and optimized tread compound, and we highly recommend that. Do you do a lot of off-road driving in your Civic? Like, do you ever take it mudding up in the, up in the hills up there? You don't ever go four-wheeling in it? I don't know. You just look like the type that would. Now, we also have the Stinger Radial GTS. Now, that is a top-of-the-line tire from Dean Tires. It has performance tread and a durable tire body. Very fancy. The rims. Don't look at the rims. The rims don't matter. And then we have the Quasar Plus Radial. This one has excellent performance, five rib tread design, and a sport car-like responsiveness. Now, I think that would be really valuable to you, especially since you have to drive a Civic every day. Could you imagine? Like, yeah, I know you have a Civic, and you have my condolences there, but wouldn't it be something if you could get in that Civic, and your tires made it feel like you were driving a Ferrari? Think about what a worthwhile investment that could be. That might even raise your self-esteem a little bit. It's something to think about. Now, what, what do you think about that? Now, I think for you, that could be a real selling point. How much are they? Well, how much, how much is your sense of uh, self-assuredness worth? Can you really put a dollar sign on that? I think not. Don't worry about it right now. We're going we're gonna to mark this for you because I think that's a good tire for you. We also have the Wildcat LT All-Terrain. Now, you say you don't go off-roading in your Civic. I'm not saying you're a liar, but if I looked out there and saw mud all over it, I'd know better. It has a wide footprint, strong bead package, and excellent even wearing of tread. Yeah, Carl. They're all shot. Okay, you were right. You need four new tires. Are the how do the how is the wear on the tread? Very uneven. You know what that tells me? That tells me you don't get your tires rotated like you should. Now what have you got to say for yourself? What's your excuse for not getting your tires rotated? Did, didn't you ever learn when you got a car that you need to do that? Every 10,000 miles, you need to get your tires rotated. I mean, there's not some magic wizard that's going to come down here and, you know, make it all okay. You probably don't even keep your alignment straight. That's, an, that's exactly right. That's another reason that the tread wears unevenly. Your alignment's messed up. It's a shame. I mean, I just can't believe there are people walking around out there. They just can't do any better. I'm glad you're here. I'm really glad you're here, even though if you made an appointment, it would have been better, because then I would have known to expect you, and I would have had some better materials out for you. But I, So you're saying you don't need the all-terrain tire? Carl, I don't need anything else. Why are you standing there? Take your hands out of your pockets. Go find something to do. I don't know. You're just creeping me out. Go on. Do you have a truck? Do you have any trucks? Man, because we're, we're doing a great special on this one right here. This tire right here is super premium. This is the Wildcat EXT Radio LT. This is like, this is like the Cadillac of tires. Telling you, you will not believe how premium this tire is. I mean, even if your truck is a piece of crap and everybody looks at it like a wreck, like you could park it somewhere and people would think there had been an accident, put these tires on it right there. Nobody will notice how terrible it looks because everybody's going to be so blown away by your tires. 
I'm not kidding you, they are that great. Now they have a super traction tread, deep shoulder lugs, and excellent ride control and flexibility, which as we both know as we get older is an important thing. You need to maintain your flexibility. Yeah. What about the Mud Terrain SXT? Now personally for me, this one here, the Wildcat EXT Radio LT, to me, this tire is worth going to buy a truck just so you can put these tires on it. Like you could go somewhere, you know, sometimes people sell vehicles at yard sales. I sold a Sentra at a yard sale one time for $700. I did sold it to a guy uh, from Nathanville. He was a mechanic, and I had had that Sentra for 17 years. I drove it for 17 years, put 329,000 miles on it, and I was having a yard sale, and um, I'd already bought another car, and I thought, you know, I'll just put the car in the driveway with the for sale sign on it and see if I could sell it, and I put $700 on it. You know what? I got $700 for it. He didn't even try to bargain, like try to get it any cheaper. I sure didn't. It was amazing, but you know, as I sit here, I think if I had put these Wildcat EXT radial LT tires on it, I bet I could have gotten even more. I bet I could have got $1,200 for that car. Of course, that wouldn't have paid for the tires, but still, you see what I'm saying? These tires make everything better. So, now I've got a friend, his name's Jerry, and he has a truck for sale if you're interested. Now, it doesn't have an engine in it, and it does need uh, an exhaust system, and the transmission is shot, but you can get it for $2,000, so you go ahead and fix that up. It wouldn't take much. You just need a new engine. You need the transmission. You're going to need new transmission, the, the, the exhaust system. Um, you know, it's just a few other things, some body work, headlights, brake lights, bumpers. Other than that, I mean, it's just a quick fix. Then you could get these Wildcat EXT radio LTs. Pop them on there. There you go. You'd be the most popular person in your neighborhood. Everybody would want to come to your barbecue after that. You see what I'm saying? It can make you more popular. Don't you want to be popular? You know, I tried to get some people in my neighborhood to come to my barbecue. Won't well, nobody in my neighborhood talk to me. It is the weirdest thing. Like, I don't get it. You know, I, it could, you know what, I just thought of this. It could be because every time I talk to them, all I do is try to sell them tires. Which I don't get because I actually have no motivation to even care whether you buy them or not. I make $8 an hour regardless. I don't get commission or anything. So I don't know why I care so much. It's like it's ingrained into my DNA or something. Which doesn't make any sense. Because my dad's an electrician. And my mom is a nurse. So I don't even know why I would say that. But nobody in my family cares about tires. You, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. So you don't care. You don't care for these off-road tires for your Civic. Well, I mean, I'm saying we can get them on there. We got crowbars. We could get them on there. We do have the, um, the Mud Terrain SXT. Now this one has staggered tread elements, self-cleaning tread, which is nice, and low noise tread design. And that sounds spiffy to me. I think we should do that one. And then we have the Wildcat Radial AT. That's a pretty tire. Look. It has bumps on it and stuff. Five rib, all-terrain design, dual radius tread arc, and a solid center rib. No. I'm going to keep this out for the Quasar Plus radio. Let me go ahead and get, I'm going to run some figures for you. Are you ready? Now tell me, how much did you plan on spending on tires when you came in here today? Oh, you haven't bought tires in a while, have you? <laughs> you know we're talking about four tires. Like, you, you won't consider the Michelin's? Because I'm telling you now, I could probably get you a good deal on Michelin's. 
Your daddy told you they were no good. Well, your daddy's gonna cost you some money today. Let me look this one up first and, and I can just give you some numbers on Michelin's if you want to. Of course, your daddy may never speak to you again, but I don't know what y'all's relationship dynamic is like, so I don't know. Now, check the screen right here. Just hang on one minute. Let me put in this, this item number here, too. Now, what do, you, what do you have? You have 14 inch? Okay. No. That's all right. I didn't know. Hang on a minute. I got an error. It's probably because you drive a Civic. Let me put that number in one more time. You see that? Now that's with tax. I'm going to write that down for you now. Remember what we said about this tire. Now don't freak out. If you need a bag to breathe into to help with your panic attack, there's a stack right there beside the tissues that you can use if you need to cry. Now this is the Quasar Plus Radial. I'm telling you, this tire is going to really make your life better. We're looking at four tires. Now, you do not get the donut with this. But Carl is very protective over the donuts. I told him he needs to lay off because he's going to get the diabetes, but he keeps eating them. He's only willing to part with one if you buy Michelin because he's a Michelin man. He's going to look like the Michelin man if he don't stay away from no donuts. Now, keep in mind, this price is with tax. What do you think of that number? No, that's not up your alley. Well, I can't give you that one any cheaper than that. Now, at Slappy's, we don't do bargaining. Now, at Slappy's, it's a fixed price. We, um... We, we don't do special prices for people. Uh, for friends and family, we do charge more. That's the only way to keep them from bothering us. What, what about Goodyear? How do you feel about Goodyear? I don't think Goodyear... Hang on a minute. Slappy's Tire Company, this is Gina. May I help you? Hi, Daryl. What do you want? <clears throat> What do you mean you tried to get me some Arby's for lunch? How do you try to get somebody Arby's for lunch? When I, I was going to run up the street and get something, I guess. Did, did you drop it? What do you mean probably? How can you mess it up? Arby's is wrapped. It's the sandwich. It's wrapped. I could have put my own Arby sauce on it. I don't need you putting that on there. I could... I'm with a customer. Is there a point to this call? Or did you just call to tell me that you're not bringing me lunch and I wasn't expecting it and now I'm disappointed and I didn't know two seconds ago there was a reason to be? So it, so it completely fell out. Why were you walking through the parking lot trying to put Arby sauce on a sandwich? That's not something you do walking walking down. Well, did you at least get me a drink? Because I don't have anything here to drink. You, for, you didn't even think to get a drink? I can't eat a roast beef with no, nothing to drink. That's just barbaric. So, so I have no lunch. I have no sandwich. And I have no drink. And there's no purpose to this call. Well, no, I would have appreciated it if there was something to show for it. For all I know, you're just making it up and you're sitting at work trying to sound like you're, I don't know, noble or something. Can I please get back to work? That'd be fantastic. You know, when the therapist said we needed to work on dazzling one another, I don't think this is what he meant. 
Hold on a minute. Do you think it's dazzling when your husband drops a sandwich in the parking lot and then calls to tell you about it? I don't think it is. You know, I know, Daryl, hush up. Let me tell you what's dazzling. I'll tell you what's dazzling. When I went to Bass Pro Shops with you last weekend and I walked around for two hours and looked like I was interested, that's dazzling, okay? I kept that up for two solid hours and I know because I was watching my, I was watching my watch the whole time. Well, I'm going to get back to work. I guess I'm going to have to find something here to eat. Fortunately, I I got a few ch choices. <clears throat> well, I don't know. That depends on what Carl does. I don't know if he'll cover the phones long enough for me to go eat for real. He still sore at me over the whole thing with the stapler. Okay, well, I got to go. Yeah, well... I would say thank you, but there's nothing here for me to look at and, you know, be grateful for. <clears throat> so, you know, have a nice day, I guess. I don't really know what else to say about it. I think he hung up. He beat me to it. What were we talking about? Are you married? You know all I have to say about it? It's just one long ragged sigh. That's all it is. I just... You know, we tried therapy. You know, they say that you should go and like learn to talk to one another and share secrets. And you know, some people, they start sharing secrets and it just makes it worse. Like you're just peeling away layers of this onion and it's just more and more gross as you go. It's like the inside of it's just rotten, but the outside look good. Some people, you start peeling away those layers and it's just disgusting. I'm not saying that's my situation, but it's kind of staring at something very similar to it. I was talking about Goodyear. Now look here. This is a good deal. Now we are not part of this particular promotion, but if you're interested, I may be able to uh, work something out for you. Now with Goodyear, they want you to be road ready. If you buy a set of four Goodyear's, Goodyear tires, you will receive a custom Yeti Rambler 20 ounce tumbler. Now that is amazing. And you have a chance to win one of 10 Yeti Tundra 45 coolers. Now, as I said, we here at Slappy's are not participating in this, but Slappy himself has agreed to, um, to do something similar. So if you buy four Goodyear tires from us, we are prepared. Now, hold on to this. Now, this is really, I can't believe he did this. I don't even know how he worked this out. If you buy four Goodyear tires here at Slappy's, you're going to get, now listen to this. Don't tell anybody. You're going to get a package of 25 red Solo Cups. Um, I mean, I was amazed. Personally, I don't even need any tires. I about bought some just to get that deal. See, it's better, to me, it's better than this Yeti thing because this, you know, you could use it one time and then drop it down a well and never be able to use it again. But those Solo Cups, you get 25 uses out of them minimum. And if you're like my grandma where she even washes paper plates, you can reuse them over and over. And 25 of them, Lord, that could last you for years, theoretically. It may outlast the tires. <laughs> so... This is a very good option for you. The, the uh, Goodyear tires. Now you see how pretty they are. They're behind this ugly cooler, but look how pretty the tires are. Look at that. Well, I didn't know if you were nearsighted or not. They are so pretty. They're made of real rubber and they're dark and they've got treads on them and stuff. 
really spiffy tires. Now, let's see. Let's look at, are you looking for 60,000 mile tires, you said? Let me see what I can find for you in Goodyear because I really want to hook you up with those red Solo cups. Well, I think it's important. Just hang on. Just hold on to yourself. You don't have anywhere you need to be right now. Now, we have the Goodyear Challenger Series. These are really nice tires. Like, they bounce and everything. Like, I watch the guys when they're walking with them, and they, and they bounce them on the ground. They have them inflated and stuff. They bounce like basketballs. It is, of course, they all do that, I guess, but they bounce really, really good. So that means they're good. Well, look here. Look at the Challenger. I'm going to put in tire size. And we're looking for four. Now, up here at the top, we have the Challenger Elite. You see that? Do you, do you want me to write that price down? I'm going to write it down. Because I want you to have all the information you need when you leave here. Just in case you don't buy anything today, I want you to be ready. First, we have the Elite, and we're looking at four. Here's your price for that, and this includes tax. Come on down here, looky. Now, we're still looking at the Challenger series, okay? We So, we have the Elite, and then we have... What does that say? Super? Super. I think super would be at the top. Four of those, I'm going to write down that price, and it's not much less. Personally, I'd go with the Elite. And remember, we're working for those Solo Cups right now. Just keep, keep your eyes on the price. Don't worry about what they cost. And then down here, we have the Meh Tires. That's the meh, M-E-H. They're good for about 20,000 miles. You can get four of those. Now that is going to be your cheapest ones right there. Now. Take a look at these prices. Tell me what you think of that. Do any of those look good to you? And remember the Solo Cups. Well, what is it going to take to please you today? Again, I'm saying, you know, <clears throat> what you're looking to spend for four tires is just, I'm just going to say it, it is not reasonable. It is not realistic. Um, clearly, you have not bought tires in a long time. You are not going to get four tires for that. Um, you can get, you know, round rubber things, I suppose, for that. You could put some rubber bands on your on your uh, rims there, but uh, you're not going to get four tires anywhere for that price. I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. But let's, let's move on because I don't know what to do with you. Now, have you thought about buying a dump truck recently? Because <clears throat> a lot of people are... Huh? No, I'm not kidding. A dump truck. Look at this is a lot of people are, are moving over towards these larger vehicles. They find that these earth movers have a lot more space for storage. You can put people in the back. You know, if you if you want to destroy your house, you could just cart it away with you. It, th this is such a versatile vehicle that a lot of people, because everybody's just worn out on the SUV thing, the crossover thing. Nobody wants to drive something that looks like an armadillo. I mean, everybody's looking for something new. And that is why the earth movers are becoming so incredibly popular. And for the earth movers, again, we are looking at Goodyear. Now, Goodyear is introducing this year, just, just this year, the Goodyear RM4B Plus for Earth Movers. So, it's, it's, I am dead serious. What, why would you think that I'm not serious? It's so stupid that you think that. Can I finish? Now, look, Goodyear's newest haulage tire for severe operating conditions 
So, and when you have an earth mover, you have to be ready for anything because that is one of the drawbacks to buying one of these earth movers like this because once you get one, everybody becomes your best friend. It's kind of like when you get a horse or a boat or a pool, suddenly everybody loves you. Same thing with an earth mover. So everybody's going to be calling you up. Hey, you know, I need you to come dig out a hole in my backyard and call it away. Or I got this body and I wondered if you could take it to the landfill under a bunch of concrete chunks. I mean, you just, it's just something all the time. Um, but, I mean, you have to take the bad with the good. It's just like when you have a horse or a boat or a pole. I mean, there are good things about it and bad things about it. But yeah, these are the best for severe operating conditions, and they have four options for the earth mover. It's just something to keep in mind. I mean, you know, you can't drive that Civic forever. You know, eventually you're going to get tired of people laughing at you, and you're going to get like a real vehicle. Um, okay, well, how do you feel about nitrogen? I think nitrogen is a very important thing in our world, don't you? What do you mean you never thought about it? That didn't surprise me. Why you need to go green? When you go green with nitrogen inflation and auto club program, you're going to get better fuel economy, longer tire life, improved safety, a smaller carbon footprint, and more. And you know whenever they say and more, there's even better stuff that they didn't mention. They're not just doing it to make the list look longer at all. I mean, they would have put it in here, but just see that they ran out of room. They had no choice. Now, this is something that we can definitely do with any tires you buy. We can fill them with nitrogen. That is going to be an extra charge. Hang on a minute. It's the same for all tires. We can do it. For your tires here now keep in mind this is for all four are you ready what do you think of that figure how's that what do you mean that's high that's not high did you not hear everything I just read and more and there's more. It's totally worth that. Because you don't, how can you say no? Because you don't even know what else, you know, what other benefits there are. Because they didn't list but four things. You know, you are proving to be very difficult. And I am not having a good day. We call this place Slappies for a reason. Do you really want to find out why we call it that? Okay. So you are just determined, I guess, to spend very little money on your tires. Is that right? You're just you're just looking to. You just want something on there, right? It's not in your budget. Well, honey, when you own a car, you have to be ready for things. Let me see what I have here. No, if you're on a budget, you can't afford Pirellis. I can't do that one. See, I have these, these shiny, glossy portfolios and information about these really great tires that you could put on that sad little Civic out there and make it happy, but you don't think your Civic deserves it, apparently. I can't do those. Definitely can't afford those. Yeah. No Continentals for you. Okay. We're just going to get down to the bare bones here. I mean, we're just going to quit beating around the bush. You don't care about the donut. You don't care about the solo cups. I mean, most people come to their senses when they're offered a solo cup or a donut. But I guess, I guess you're just dug in and this is all there is to it. Okay. I got one basic question for you. What matters to you when you're talking about tires? Now, there are two types of tire in this world, and I put these up here for my customers because I think this is important enough to dedicate wall space to it. Mm -hmm. You got your good tire, 
That's a good tire. Now here you got a bad tire. That's bad. You see how the air is blowing out of it? That's a bad tire. You are really close to having four of those. Okay, your tires are worn thin like paper. Um, you don't really have much of an option. Now, do you know how many miles you put on those tires? You don't know. Of course you don't. You probably don't change your oil or anything else, do you? You, I bet you leave your windshield wipers on there long after they need to be replaced to the point where you're driving along in the rain and you turn them on and they just crumble. They've just dried out and they just crumble. I bet. Well, all right. We're, we're down to two options here. And one option is so cheap, I don't even have a pamphlet for it. We'll get to that in a minute. First, we have Bento. Bento. I've never heard of it either. Um, I think they make them in Istanbul or something. Now, they only make one tire. Now, previously, they only fit Yugos. They made a 12-inch tire, and you could either put it on a Yugo or a child's bicycle. There was really no other options for it. This is the G3 Dual Nature. I don't know why they bother giving it a name like it's some kind of special thing because it's not. Um, and it's the, their pamphlets are so cheap that you can't even read the text on them. So we just have to pretend we know what this says here. It's just blurbs. Now we have a picture of a cloud with some rain. It probably says don't drive in the rain because you're going to slide off the road and die. And then down here we have a picture of a gas pump that says, you know, you probably buy that cheap E15 gas that's going to tear your motor up. And then down here... We have a picture of a speaker, which probably, you know, alludes to the fact that people like you, whenever your car is making a weird noise, you just turn the radio up so you don't have to listen to it. That's the kind of people who buy Vento tires. And then down here, we have a picture of a pretty little tree-lined road. And that's where you're going to break down and your tires are going to blow out. And then... There's going to be like, you know, Jason Voorhees is going to come up out of the woods and, you know, Freddy Krueger will be with him and then they'll just chop you to bits and you'll die because you don't want to spend any money on tires. But at least you're taking your last breaths. You can take comfort in the fact that you saved a few dollars on your tires. I mean, at least you're going to have that. And they can take those few dollars and put them towards the pine box that you're going to be buried in. It's all kind of like the circle of life in a way. So, here, look, just try to, well, it's almost like Braille, but it's not. You can, you can read that. You can look at that for a minute. I have to decide what I'm going to eat for lunch. Since Daryl dropped my roast beef, which I didn't even know I was going to have. Hey, Carl, can I run up the street and get something to eat? I did not touch your donuts. Well, if they're gone, it's not my fault. <laughs> yeah, now he's suddenly busy and can't cover the phone, so i got to eat something here. Well, okay, I have... I have some ramen. <clears throat> You know, I asked them for a raise, and they said they had something better than a raise. They gave me this, and this was like supposed to be better than making more money. They said it would make me feel more uh, important. <clears throat> I don't feel more important. I feel like Judy, the time life lady. I think I'd have rather had the raise, but I agreed to it because at the time it was in this shiny box and I was distracted by the holographic stickers all over it. That's a mistake I won't make twice. How do you feel about ramen? Now I have this one here. This is soy sauce flavor. We, don't, we can't even be bothered with real soy sauce. We have soy sauce flavor in the packet. So I have that one. And then I have 
this one this is chili flavor I've never tried this one I'm feeling a little adventurous today I think I'll try the chili maybe you know I'm feeling a little spicy maybe um maybe it'll be all right I just wish it looked like the picture on the package it's never that good looking you heat it up and it just looks like sad bleached worms I'll do the chili flavor so how do you feel how do you feel about the vinto is that working for you or do you want to hear the other option that you have you know what actually you have two more options now we have this one I'll tell you about this first now we have this one tire and, and we only mainly sell it to broke college kids we have this one tire it's called the general grabber have you ever heard of general grabber most people haven't it is <clears throat> it's kind of a tire I think it's made of rubber but I think it also has pine straw or something in it it's like a a rubber substitute anyway let me look up general grabber for you I think they call it that like it's supposed to hug the road or make you feel like you're doing something really cool 15. Now the General Grabber only has one model. It's called the Regret TS right there. I'm going to write down the price for that. That's for four. That's for four. That's for four tires. Now I know you can't have a problem with this. I'm going to write it down. that number you still are not okay with that that is only $22 above what you said your budget was $22 and you get four tires look you cannot get four tires for what you want yes I did say there was another option I really advise against it okay all right well, your other option is we have um we have recycled tires then it's not as bad as it sounds I mean it's not terrible they're only flat on the bottom so it well if you're looking to save money they are only flat on the bottom side and I can tell you right now let me look at our inventory of recycled tires now here's the thing though if we sell these to you you can't tell anybody okay because we can kind of maybe get shut down so if we sell these to you the trade-off is you have to keep your mouth shut and don't tell anybody you bought them here okay you cannot tell anybody and you have to pay in cash and we can't give you a receipt you see what, I, the, see what I'm saying okay do you have cash you do wonderful wonderful okay let me check I think we may have finally struck a deal. I'm excited myself. Let me see. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Look at that. Now, since your tire size is not that common, well, not as many people have it. You know, most people have, you know, like real cars with bigger wheels. You're driving like a matchbox car. Look at that. We have 32 recycled tires. Now, let's see. We have details on each one. All right, now that one's got mice living in it. I don't want to sell that one. It's a habitat. There's another one here. So you come down and each tire has a profile, kind of like animals at the shelter. This tire is covered in bacon grease. Would that be a problem? Yeah, maybe not. Okay. This tire only has one of the radials exposed. Now that's good. No, you are picky. 
Okay, this one has a knife sticking out of it. it I see it in the picture. It's not mentioned in the description, but that looks like a Bowie knife sticking out of it. Get a free knife. I mean, you, you get them as they come. So if there's a knife in it, you can have it. And it could be like a really good knife. You know, there was that guy that went on Antiques Roadshow with that knife and made a lot of money on it. Maybe he fainted right there on, on camera. I, to me, I think it looked a little fake, but it might not have been. Do you want the one with the knife in it? Because if you do, I need to mark it right now. You don't want it. Okay, that could be a good knife. You never know when a good knife's gonna come in handy. All right, here's one, here's one. Okay, now that one looks good. It just has one sheared off place on it where somebody ran up against a median or a concrete barrier. Would that work? Because that's not really gonna affect it that much. I mean, at least for a little while. You want that one? Let me mark it. Now that one is number X23B. We're gonna give you that one. Okay. Oh, they're all the same price, don't worry. That you know, you're not gonna pay more. Look at that one. Yeah, well, yeah, it does have a chain tied around it. I don't know what the story is there. No, there are bite marks in it. And I don't know what kind of animal did that. Do you want it? Because the bite marks are included. I mean, that'd be an interesting story to tell people. You could show them the chain and the bite marks and, you know, make it sound like you wrestled an alligator to get them. Or I don't know what you're into. Okay. We need three more here. Do you want to spare no. You like living on the edge. You want these tires. You don't even want a spare. Okay. Look now. Now that one. That one's got mold on it. And we think it may be toxic. But I think if you spray it with some Lysol, it's probably fine. You want to go for the toxic mold. And it may not even be toxic. It may just make you sick for a little while help build up your immune system. You know, you want to buy probiotics and stuff. You wouldn't have to if you bought that tire. You might even be able to make some penicillin out of it. I mean, you never know when you're going to need that. You get stuck out in the woods, you get hurt, and you can't get anywhere, make you something. No? Mm -hmm. We're running out of tires. Okay. Now, this one has Go to Hell spray painted on it. But other than that, I want none to listen now. Listen, there's nothing wrong with it other than that. Somebody got mad at somebody and they spray paint and go to hell on the tire. Now it goes all the way around it. You want that one. All right. That is L88H. That's a good deal because that tire is actually fine. It's not got holes in it or anything. Unfortunately, they only wrote on that one tire. I don't know what it was about that one tire. They didn't key the car. They didn't write on the car. Just wrote on that one tire. There's got to be a story behind it or something. I don't know. I don't get to hear everything as these things come in. Okay. Now, that may work. Now, all that one has, it's got a screw in it. There's a screw stuck in it. And... Uh, looks like, what does I say, 92% of the tread is gone. It's got 8% tread and a, and a free screw. You can get a screw. It might even be like a specialty screw. You want that one? You get 8% tread. I mean, that's, it's 8%. It's better than none. Look, you, you need two more. Okay. Now, this tire here, we don't know anything about it. We are thinking it was made somewhere in another country because it's a weird size. But here's what we're going to do. It's a little bit too big. We think it's metric or something. I don't know. Um, now, it, it looks all right. Now, it is not going to fit perfectly. But what we're going to do is, if you want this tire, we will take... Um, like zip ties, we'll put it on there, zip tie it down, and fill it with air. How about that? 
because it's going to work the same. Now, the only problem is the, the little things that hold the zip tie together are going to make a bumpity bump sound on the ground, but it's just noise. And, you know, like I say, you know, like you probably do, turn the radio up if your car's making a weird noise. You can just tune it out and forget about it. Turn your radio up. Yeah, that means you get to jam everywhere you go. You can just rock out, and you'll be completely oblivious to the sound of those zip ties on that tire. And, you know, it's it's a stress relief to listen to loud music anyway. You want to do that one? Great. That is B. Three zero L. And, um, and, and I'm going to I'm going to make sure that you get at least three good strong zip ties to go on that. I'm going to make sure it's going to last you at least until you get home. Now remember, you don't get a receipt; you pay cash. This this sale never happened. Okay, awesome. We need one more tire. Okay, I think this is perfect for you. Look at this one here. Now, this one was used in a chicken lot. No, it no, the chickens like to climb on them and stuff, and you can you can fill it with the straw and stuff, and they like to kind of nest in it. So the chickens used it for it looks like it's been in a chicken lot for about 10 years. Um, before that it was used on a tractor. But it doesn't look like it was used a whole lot, so there's not a lot of wear on the tread. Now, there is dry rot, but it's, it, I mean, it's dry, so that means it's not as bad as wet, because wet rot would be like mold or something. Dry rot is totally fine when it comes to tires. Not a problem. Now, you're going to see cracks, you know, in the tire. Don't worry about that. It's fine. Look at the tread, because the tread is the only thing that matters. Dry rot is completely irrelevant. It totally is. Okay. You okay with that? Dry rot. Yeah, well, apparently the chickens all developed this odd uh, bird flu, and they all died. Um, and so then they had to completely clean out and decontaminate everything and the tire was part of the stuff they took out So it's fine though. I mean they've been dead for a while So I'm sure there's no contamination or anything on that tire You know, you're not a bird, you know, people can't get bird flu So it's it's fine Now the chicken tire that is G 18 D G I'm going to give you a total that's going to blow your mind. All right, we got our four tires. Let me tell you how much it's going to be. I think we're finally going to have a deal. Four. And I've got them flagged so nobody can get them from you. Nobody can sneak in and take them from you. And we'll write down your total and we'll see what you think. that figure yeah have we finally got a deal fantastic that is great no 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 don't give me the money uh-uh now look this conversation never happened okay what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to um, Presnell Street do you know where Presnell Street is it's down there behind the pawn shop you're gonna go down Presnell Street you're gonna go to all the way down there's this big fenced-in lot that's part of a used car lot. Go down past there. As soon as you pass the chain link fence, the edge of the fence, there's going to be a man standing down there. Now his name is Gary. Gary. You're going to give Gary the money. And then Gary is going to uh, get in his truck. You're going to follow him. And he's going to take you to where they're going to put the tires on. Okay? So you don't get, you, we don't want any money here. You give all your money to Gary. Yeah, well, you know, here at Slappies, we like to try to help our customers any way we can. And uh, we try to meet everyone's special uh, requirements and help them with their situation. And, um, yeah, I think I think these tires are going to work great for you. So, okay. All right, well, thank you very much for stopping by. I, I hope that everything works out okay. Um, oh, and when you see Gary, uh, he has a lazy eye. Um... 
and it kind of looks off that way. So look at the blue one. That's a good one. The green one's always looking off in the trees, but he's not, he's not trying to be ridiculous. That's just the way he looks. That's just what his face looks like. Don't stare at the green eye. Okay, he makes himself conscious and, and he gets upset, so don't do that. All right, well, thank you very much for coming in. It was wonderful to meet you. And I hope you enjoy your tires for at least a day or two. <laughs>